Hey guys, welcome back to Vintage Air TV. I'm Nate here in the R&D garage, and today we're gonna be doing an install on our Chevy 305 and 350 AC compressor and power steering kits. We're gonna cover both the Saginaw and the TC style kits in this video. So let's get the OEM stuff disassembled and get to it. So the engine we're gonna be doing the disassembly and installation on today is an 84 Monte Carlo. The disassembly instructions are going to be based off of this 82 to 88 G body. It should be the same for those cars with the 305. Um, if you have a different model, it may have a little bit different disassembly instructions. Most of the installation is going to be the same, however. Uh, for this kit, um, this particular engine has got a three groove crank pulley. It has got a three groove water pump pulley and a two groove power steering pump pulley. The front of the water pump is going to be what's running the smog pump. That's not going to be really interactive with what we're doing on the power steering and AC side. So they're not shown in the belt routing diagram. This is just the basic setup that we have here. We're going to go ahead and get all these belts off um, and go ahead and get the AC and power steering disassembled. Okay, starting on the disassembly, we're going to go ahead, disconnect the battery. We've already evacuated the AC. We're gonna go ahead and take these belts off. That way we can get to everything we need to. Okay. All right, and we'll start removing the brackets. For the disassembly, we're gonna go ahead and remove the brace that runs here from the OEM AC compressor down to the intake manifold. Next, we're gonna remove three bolts on the back of the AC compressor here, here, and here. We're gonna support the compressor and remove this 916 on the front that's holding it into the block. Next, we're gonna remove these two bolts on the back side of the power steering pump. Okay. Next, we're gonna remove these two 916 on the front of the power steering pump while supporting it, and go ahead and remove the entire assembly. On the front here, we're gonna go ahead and remove this last bracket off of the head. Bolt and a nut on the side of the exhaust manifold we're gonna remove. We're gonna retain that bolt to go back into the exhaust manifold. And then we've got one final bolt on the front of the engine block that we're gonna to remove to get the last bracket off. And then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our exhaust manifold and bolt. And we'll get that torque to spec. Before we move forward with the installation of our brackets on the engine, we're going to go ahead and get our power steering pump situated. Depending on whether you're using the OEM Saginaw style pump or the aftermarket TC style pump, and I'll show you both of those brackets. We went ahead and removed the pulley off of our power steering pump over on the vise. What we're going to do is first is go ahead and remove the OEM bracket, and then I'll show you how to assemble our bracket setup. We're going to use our two spacers here that will be supplied with the kit. 
set our bracket straight over the pump. One inch bolts through the spacers. And then three quarter inch bolts straight into the pump. For this one, we'll take it back over to the bench and install the pulley back on with our power steering pulley installation tool. If you are using the TC style pump, all you're gonna do is use a three spacer supplied, set those on top of the pump, put on the bracket, metric bolt goes in the top and the middle. And with this power steering setup with this pulley, you actually don't have to remove the pulley from the pump to be able to install it onto our bracket. And our other bolts and nylocks. Now, both of our power steering pumps are ready to go on our bracket assembly. We'll go back over to the car and get them installed. Okay, we're back in the engine compartment and we're gonna begin assembling our brackets onto the engine. We'll start with the rear compressor bracket and a three quarter bolt. Next, we're gonna take our front compressor bracket with a three and a quarter inch bolt and a two and five eighths spacer and we're going to install this into the rear bracket into the threaded boss. I'm just going to leave everything finger tight for now. Then we're going to grab a three and a half inch bolt and another two and five eighths spacer. Install those into the top all the way into the head. At this point if you were not going to install a power steering pump we would use another three and a half inch bolt and another two and five eight spacer into the remaining hole here. Since we're going to be using a power steering pump, we're going to use the three and three quarter bolt instead with our power steering setup. We're going to go ahead and grab our power steering pump with the bracket and we are going to hang it onto the bracket assembly with a three quarter inch bolt with a spacer. And at this point, if you were using the other style of power steering pump, you would just follow the same steps just with your other bracket set up. Now that our power steering pump is supported, we can go ahead and install our three and three quarter bolt and spacer into the final bolt hole here. Okay, this is a good time to install your power steering belt and or measure. Um, that belt set up if you're using a different pulley system. I'm gonna go ahead and install the power steering belt on our setup here. This goes straight onto the crank. For this, depending on the length of belt you're running, it may be useful to remove this bolt real quick so you get a little bit more play out of it. And then you can slide it back up in. All right, we're gonna leave that loose because we'll tension it here in just a minute. Next, we're gonna install the compressor onto the bracket setup, and we'll use this opportunity also to install and, and check our belt length. Okay, and that'll just sit in the cradle like that until we get it bolted in. Okay, next we're gonna come around to the side of the compressor and install the compressor to the lower ears uh, using our five inch bolt, 
our two and five eight spacer and a point one five spacer. So the spacer goes between the small spacer goes between the bracket and the rear compressor ear. And then we'll secure it with our nylock. We'll leave that loose enough that it'll still swivel. Install our one and a quarter bolt into the top compressor ear with our serrated flange nut on the back. And that's what we're gonna use to tighten this down as we tension it. Okay, I'm gonna go through and tighten all the bolts up and then we'll do the tensioning process for the power steering and the compressor. So we're gonna tension the power steering bracket first. We're just gonna use a 3 8 drive ratchet with a extension bar and then a 9 16 socket or a 9 16 box end wrench. And, and we can install our tensioning tool for the AC compressor. This will just thread onto the rear compressor ears and that'll allow us to use a ratchet to tension this one up as well. The serrated flange nut holds the back up on the rear of the bracket. At this point, you can either take this off or you can leave it on for future tensioning. That's your choice on that. Now that we've got all of our brackets back on our 84 Monte Carlo, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the power steering hoses, put the rest of our belts on, and then that's gonna conclude our installation video on this 305 small block Chevy power steering and AC compressor video. So next time, stay cool guys. If you need any parts for your system, make sure you call our sales guys. They're very knowledgeable and can help you out. And if you have any problems with your installation, make sure you call our tech team.